It's been just over a year since we finished Project 55. And in the last year, unfortunately, I didn't drive this car as much as I really wanted to. Some of the reasons were COVID. I mean, all the events were canceled. We plan on having it at Ponies in the Smokies. We were gonna go to Mustang Week with it, a bunch of other events. And unfortunately, they just didn't happen. I did drive it a little bit locally, but we had some issues with our computer for a while, so we had some problems we had to search out. But the car is running and driving better than ever, and I'm actually starting to really enjoy driving this car. Now here in Pennsylvania, we're kind of known for having some terrible highways that are always under construction, but we do have a lot of beautiful back roads, lots of real twisties, ups and downs, you know, great driving roads where you can get out and let a car like this truly stretch its legs. With our Vortex Supercharger, Eibach Cooler with Suspension, and Bare Brakes, this car is actually a lot of fun to drive. It's quick, handles and stops absolutely amazing. The one area though that I would like to improve is the seats. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the way the seats look in the car, but they're based off the stock frames. And the stock frame is just not that supportive. I want something that more I'm sitting in as opposed to on that'll actually keep me a lot more planted during cornering. So today we're gonna to change out the seats and install a set of new Corbo RRX buckets. This is the Corbo Sportline RRX bucket seat. These are sold as a pair. They're available in three different colors. You have the black with the gray, black with red, or an all black finish. You can see they're obviously a sporty style seat. They have spots up here for your harnesses, but also have very large bolsters on the side and bottom, but will still support up to a 40 inch waist, so they're not overly narrow. They have infinite reclining options. You can be installed in pretty much any Mustang you want using the correct seat tracks. And these are sold as a pair, feature high quality tubular construction, and they're also nice and light, making them an excellent upgrade. Now, I should mention the Corbo RRX are designed to be used with a harness, but only a three or a four point harness. Your five point harness would have a submarine belt, and the design of the seat is not designed for use with a submarine. If you brought it over the front, it's actually not safe. So again, only a three or four point harness. The Corbo seat's gonna include these four bolts on the bottom, which allow you to bolt on a seat track they actually are not sold with the track because the seats themselves will fit several different years and can also be used for custom configuration. So depending on what Mustang you're working on, you want to get the proper tracks. In our case, we're using the double locking track, which is going to fit your 79 through 98 Mustang. There's two different versions of the track. They have a kind of standard duty track, which is a single locking track, and they have the double locking track. In my opinion, if you're a bigger driver or you're just into higher performance driving, you really want to use the seat. I would go with the double locking one. This is gonna have a lock on both rails, very similar to an OEM style. My opinion is gonna be a lot stronger than the standard bracket, and it's the one I would recommend. To install the bracket on the seat is gonna be very easy. It's just four bolts. We're gonna start by removing the four bolts. to grab your bracket, line up these back two holes here. And I like to put a dab of Loctite on the bolts and then reinstall them. Don't tighten them all the way just yet. Just get them snug. With the rear bolts in, push down the release. Slide the track back so you can see your front bolt. Again, dab a Loctite. Now you can tighten both fronts. ready to go in the car. Removing the factory seats is very easy. There's two bolts in the back, two nuts on studs in the front, and disconnect any harnesses you might have for power or lumbar. Now in the front, don't be concerned if possibly the stud comes out with a nut. It happens all the time. Just bolt it back in the same way it comes out. To get the rears, it's easier to tilt the seat forward. Actually slide it forward as well. Now we're moving the rear bolts, and as you can see, we actually, in our rush to get the car done for Mustang, we never painted our tracks, but we're upgrading them anyway. But if you do have subframe connectors, there may be a nut on the bottom of this. So if, again, if you have subframes or added them, there is a seat brace underneath, so you want to get that nut off as well. That 
we can tilt it back. Disconnect the plug underneath. And we can remove our stock seat. All right, place the new seat on the floor. Line it up with the front studs. Just put these nuts on loosely. You wanna be able to move it still. Now slide it forward so we can access the rear. Line it up. And then reinstall the factory bolts. Now go up front, tighten down both fronts, and then repeat the process on the other side. I just want to try it out before I install the other one. This is actually really nice. Because I have the aftermarket track, I have more leg room, so I can even stretch out more. And again, I'm in the seat now. I'm sitting lower in the car. My head's not up real high anymore. Yeah, definitely a nice upgrade. Corvo seats really gave me the look I was going for with the car. Most importantly though, they're gonna hold me better. They sit a little bit lower and I have more leg room. Again, this is gonna be a nice upgrade for any year Mustang. With the tracks available, you can install them pretty much on your classic or modern Mustang. They are sold as a pair and are again available in multiple different colors. As far as the installation goes, very, very simple to do. This is half hour, 45 minutes. We'll be back on the road in no time.